Hey everybody, it's the Yellow Chili with a brand new episode of Let's Play Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now as you guys can see in the top left corner, this is Alpha 11.5.8 version 2789. We are um, actually shortly before the release of uh, Alpha 12, Experimental has already started. And um, this will be the last Let's Play I do in Alpha 11, but... It will be a let's play where I show basic functions of the game. The start will be on a um, on an arid planet, and um, so there won't be any oxygen, um, not too much food except in some areas, and uh, it'll be a mild challenge, I would like to say. And um, we're going to be moving on to a dead starter probably in Alpha 12, but um, for explaining the basic functions of the game, the dead starter won't be um, the best start because you don't do a lot of building, you don't do any gathering. Um, I'll get to that in the next series in Alpha 12. Alright, so uh, we're going to be playing with Project Eden mod enabled. So we're going to go to Scenario. And we're going to select Project Eden. Now this sometimes takes a while to load. And um, we're going to select a random seed. Um, just uh, some random seed. I don't know, just pick a random number. I will set this and from what I've read, you're supposed to reload the scenario with that random seed because otherwise Project Eden may not recognize a new seed. Um, as I said, um, we're going to choose a Arid starter. Um, there are different starters. Beginner starter, for instance. Um, you can see some facts about the planet here. Um, the planet difficulty uh, is not always very accurate because some planets have a hard difficulty um, that aren't that hard and the other way around so generally I wouldn't give wouldn't give too much about that um, gravity is really not that important um, there are some very very high gravity planets um, that you might want to pay attention to because if you go down there with a ship you might not be able to lift off again um, it's happened to me when I started playing Empyreon and um, it's not very pleasant um, it was luckily a single player game where I had an older save that I could load. Um, but anyways, gravity is not that important. The temperature can get um, somewhat annoying at some point. Um, radiation is always annoying, uh, especially if you start the game without a suit, which is the case on um, the beginner and temperate starters, I believe. On an arid starter you need a suit because what's further down here the O2 concentration and the breathable atmosphere. Our planet will not have a breathable atmosphere. Um, for beginners this may prove very hostile because you have to start making oxygen right at the beginning. Um, but we're gonna try to make oxygen and we're gonna try to survive on a planet without oxygen. Um, atmospheric density is not that important. Um, so the, the other part that you wanna pay attention to is the deposits. Now this planet has iron, copper, silicon, promethium and gold even. Iron, copper, and silicon are the three basic resources that you need. If you have a planet without that, for instance, the Dead Starter, um, you will have fi to find other means of um, getting materials crafted, especially like electronics and stuff, because they all rely on silicon and copper. And um, so the basic planets all have these. And um, there are other planets. There's a Temperate Starter. It's not beginner, but it's temperate, which is also quite nice if you're new to the game. Temperate Starter 2 is just an alternative. Um, I guess this is the best for multiplayer servers, so everybody doesn't start on the same server. Now, we're going to go with the Arid Starter. Thruger. Um, the difficulty is supposed to be easy, even though it has a non-breathable atmosphere. The temperature on this planet, however, is probably going to be a bitch. Uh, we have a minimum of 5 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 121 Celsius. Um, now, if you're not used to the Celsius, Celsius scale, um, 100 is not really, really hot, as in Fahrenheit, 100 is certain death in Celsius if you're unprotected. And um, 5 is just moderately cold, so um, the cold won't be much of a problem, but the heat will be. There is some radiation, but I don't think that's going to be much of a problem because we will be equipped with a suit. Um, gravity is 0.97, so that's very similar to that on Earth. Um, it has iron, copper, silicon, and some promethium, which is really nice because you will be able to craft um, not only fuel from it. Promethium is a source of fuel in this game, if you don't know that already. 
uh, you will also be able to craft uh, multi-charges and drill charges with Promethea. Um, we'll get to that later in the game. So the difficulty settings I like to leave on medium because uh, I for this let's play I'm not going to make things extra difficult because it's only going to be about explaining basic functions so we don't need to, to artificially make this game longer. Planet size, I really like this on large because larger planets usually have more and thus uh, better POIs. So I'm going to set this to large and we'll see what it gets us. So um, alright, um, let's start the game. Uh, I will see you when the game is loaded because Project Eden takes uh, quite a while to load the map. So um, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Alright guys, here we are. Uh, the game just loaded up and it took about five minutes on my computer, which is not the newest. So, um, we start this game in this escape pod. Uh, so, I assume there will be a story at some point that you had to abandon your ship or something. Um, so, we can actually steer this thing a little bit. Like, we can't really, really um, go around the planet and look for the best location. We can only, excuse me, we can only... Um, basically choose the direction that we're going um, and for now I'm just kind of thinking uh, we might want to get to the water because as we said earlier uh, temperature will be a problem on this planet and being near the, near the water sort of eliminates that problem because you can always uh, get into the water to cool down go for a swim and um, there might also be plant protein in the water. Um, for those of you who don't know this, plant protein is quite important um, as an early food because you can make energy bars out of it. And um, there is, um, there's plants on the ocean or, or lake floor that uh, give you plant protein. So that could be an option. I'm not sure if they're here. We'll find that out. And we might just take a look around to see if there are any points of interest nearby. Um, all right, well, let's jump right into it. We are approaching planet Thrudir. Steer your escape pod to a safe, safe spot. There's two small wreckages that we can loot. There's another small wreckage that we can loot. There are a few trees, and um, generally there should be a green biome on this planet somewhere. Like, sometimes you have these oases. Um, there's a lot more plants that grow there, as opposed to here. And wow! Alright, we made it. Yeah, heart is beating, but apparently we're not too badly hurt. We'll just grab everything from the escape pod. Um, this is our integrated datapad assistant. If you're new to the game, you are going to want to follow the Robinson protocol. But uh, we're not going to do this for now. Do we want to skip? Yes. So we're going to grab this purified water because you can make purified water into, well, more oxygen, which is going to be quite important in the early game. So we're going to do that right about now. Um, you do not have to drink in this game, at least not yet. And as we have a jetpack, we can enable that by using uh, by pressing J. We're going to do it right about now, because it means we can sort of hop around and um, instead of run, because running uses more oxygen, it uses more food, so you're going to want to avoid running. Um, the stuff I just picked up was plant fibers. Um, you need plant fibers and this, which is plant protein, to make bandages. Bandages are in turn uh, important if you get attacked by creatures or something and you suffer from wounds. So that's something you're going to want to craft quite early on. Um, which way are we going? Let me check. You can press M to access the map. Okay, this is just the right direction. We're going to want to get uh, to the water. And we're going to have to um, loot stuff here. Or not loot, we're going to have to gather resources. So let's use this multi-tool. This is the first thing we have. If you don't have it, at some point you might want to make a new one. It doesn't cost any resources because it's the basic tool of the game. So pressing the right, right mouse button always does something in this game. If it doesn't, then there's no options. But if it does, then you always have the option of choosing something. We can set this to defense mode, which would be interesting if you were um, to kill those creatures in the background. Um, but we don't want to right now. Then we can set this to resource drill, which um, extracts both resources from the ground and also uh, surface rocks. Um, 
for the beginning of the game, we're going to mostly rely on surface rocks. Then the third one is salvage. When we get to POIs, like the ones we saw earlier, the um, small wreckages, we can salvage the materials from those. And um, that is also a viable option of gathering resources. So, But we're going to put this to um, resource drill. And we're going to get these vegetables. This is really nice. This is way more plants than I'm used to, to be honest. And we have a motorcycle from the beginning. I am a little surprised to see this because my last start um, on an arid starter, um, it's been a while. And back then, I don't think you had a motorcycle. So this is a huge step up for us. Um, right, so there's the first uh, surface rock that gives us something. This red stuff is copper, which we're gonna need because we wanna feed it into our portable constructor that you see on the, um, not here, but when we get out the motorcycle on the bottom left of the tool. Um, uh, all right. Um, so gathering resources is um, sort of the main objective at first, because we really need some resources to be able to make um, an O2 converter, or um, what is it called, O2, uh, this thing, condenser. We have one, that's even better, so we can actually start making O2 right from the beginning. Um, which really takes a lot of a hurry off our shoulders. There's a lot of iron. Um, I do suggest we get to the water and put our oh, two condenser right there. And we, can, we could potentially um, gather all these resources here. Um, but you have to make sure you don't carry... Oops, uh, I just dug a hole to the ground. You have to make sure you don't carry too much stuff because you have a maximum volume here um, that you can't go over. to hit the waterfront. Wait, where are we going this way? No, now we're going the wrong way. Maybe it may have been just me. Oh, there's more iron. We don't actually need that much iron. We already looted or gathered quite a quite a few iron rocks. There's more copper, we have that too. Uh, we're actually looking for silicon. Now, the trick is, you can make uh, all the basic resources from rock. Um, 15 pieces of a regular rock that doesn't have any bearing um, will give you one ore um, of iron, copper, or silicon. Um, while this sounds like a really, really bad exchange, it sometimes is your only option. And if we don't find silicon here, then we might have to do that. And we're going to continue picking up these plants because they give us plant fibers. And we need those to make uh, biofuel. And biofuel will be our first main source of energy for a while. Oh, there's uh, fruit here. Fruit is uh, nice later on. We don't need it right now. And you can uh, unlock the camera by pressing the Alt key. Like generally, this is fixed, and um, when in a in a vessel, a small vessel, hover vessel, capital vessel, you can uh, rotate the vessel using using the mouse. But if you press Alt, you can rotate the view. Which is um, quite practical to me because I'd like to know what's going on. Around me. All right. Um, is there anywhere we should go? No. You see, it's getting hot already. It's um, all right. So we're gonna set down this guy, and pressing F, you'll see that it needs energy items, and it says it's off because it has no energy source. 
So this, the second thing we're going to put down is this portable constructor. Um, oh, we do have biofuel here. Let's do this. Let's feed it right away. You'll see it, it will light, so that means it's on. It will start using the biofuel and it will start producing stuff. The source quality is really bad here. So we are, we're only getting one bottle of either water or oxygen every, I think it was like 90 seconds. So every minute and a half we're, we're getting um, a bottle or a, yeah, a bottle. So from what we have here, we can do a lot. We have four vegetables, two plant protein, that means we can meat out of it, make meat out of this. It takes one plant protein, one vegetable, and plant protein, on the other hand, can be made out of vegetables. So I'm quite sure we can make three grilled steak, uh, which we're going to do right about now, because we want to have something to eat. We only have 200 out of 500, and um, we need to take um, care of that when it goes below 50, because then you won't be able to run anymore. Um, while we said we were going to avoid running, um, we will sometimes have to run, especially if we encounter creatures that will attack on sight, like during the night, there's raptors, um, and we are not equipped to fight them right now. Up here, you, you see the different categories. Um, there is no display all right now. Um, that's this decoration blocks. So we can't make any with this type of constructor. Some categories may be empty or contain more or less, depending on what type of constructor you use. So right now, um, our only intention is making this out of the plant fibers. Um, we can't actually make 10 or 8 of this, I just uh, usually hold shift, because that will allow you to queue up 10. Press shift again and click, it'll be 20 now, and if you press uh, control, then that'll add, um, usually, CDR uh, control stands for 100, but um, sometimes it'll make less. I haven't really figured out what, uh, why you sometimes can make 100 and sometimes less. If you hold uh, control and shift, you will make 999 or 1000. So. Oh, this is another thing that I forgot to mention. We picked up another plan and we just reached level 3 because you get uh, XP from uh, picking up plants. Basically, it's possible to level up all the way through level 20 by just picking plants. Alright, um, I think we're going to go to those POIs and see if we saw them. Why aren't they here anymore? Yeah, they have to be somewhere around the um, escape hall. There's a small break in. It's 500 meters, that's a lot. Oops. Um, our main goal at first should be to a assemble a, whatchamacallit, a uh, hover vessel so we can um, move around by avoiding the motorbike, because the motorbike is quite bad, you'll see why. It can't carry anything, and uh, the handling is also pretty bad. So, a hover vessel is somewhat of a priority right now. Also, um, remember to pick up the motorbike, because it will sometimes just disappear on you if you don't. These POIs usually have a container. We found electronics, that's not too bad. Um, they don't contain a lot, but um, it helps. And as you can see, there's two more. So if we find uh, more electronics or uh, computers or something like that, we can components, use all of that, and we will. There is a lot of copper and iron here, and we really need silicon. And it's cold here, it's only 19 degrees C. Is nice. I mean, I like it because this this way I will not have to worry about uh, me getting too hot. Spoiled food? Are you serious? 
Spoiled food at this point is very, very useless because um, you need this to make um, plants and grow plots. And we don't want to do that right now. We can't actually. So, this is a very nice construction. Um, you can spawn your drone by pressing F5, which I just did. And now we're going to get out our survival tool and we're, we're going to set it to salvage. And we'll start salvaging this and I hope by salvaging it, the part to the right will collapse. We can just pick it up by pressing F and we just got 210 steel plates out of it. Jesus Christ. And that's only 46 volume? Alright. I would like to be able to carry 216 steel plates. Anyways. Let's get to the next... Uh, let's get to plan 2. It's not that we desperately need that, but... Just pick it up. Small wreckage. Give me something good. Oh, there is a landing gear. If we had a multi-tool, I would so uh, salvage it, but it would take ages if we try to do this with the survival tool. Canned vegetables twice! That's nice. And we get mechanical components and a stomach pill, which is also quite okay, because sometimes you get food poisoning from unprocessed food, but the hell is going on? And um, you can heal this by taking stomach pills or um, using the the toilet, but since we do not have a toilet right now, the stomach pillow would be our only option. So it's nice to have one. I'm still somewhat looking for copper. Oh, I think there's, uh, sorry, silicon, and I think there's some. Yeah, you will uh, see that different types of resources in surface rocks have different shapes. So silicon is always like sort of longer. And uh, copper is always sort of irregular, and iron is always very round. I don't see any iron right now. So, um, if you play this game, you will know what I'm talking about. If you have not played this game yet, but intend to, then you will at some point uh, realize what I just said. You will, even when it's night, when um, using the night vision or something, you will be able to tell what kind of resource is in which shade of rock. Nice, more silicon. There's more. I may be wrong, though. Now, um, you can also take down trees with this uh, survival tool. Let's mark this on the map for now because I really like to have a way. Um, you can cut down trees with the survival tool, setting it on defense mode. But um, these things you see here are not trees. Uh, they're not counted as trees. Trees are only. Um, well, trees, and not these uh, desert plants. Some are palm trees, I guess, there aren't any here. Some are cacti. Um, I think some palm trees you can actually harvest, but some you can. It's like, um, some don't give you a lot of wood, or don't give you any at all. And wood is the second source of... Um, Plant fibers, because you can make wood into plant fibers. Oh, sorry guys. I, was at, I accidentally pressed the um, pause button in my recording software. I hope this wasn't too bad. Um, we just started feeling hot, so... We definitely want to return to our portable constructor because it's near the water. And the hotter you get, the more likely you are to not just be hot, but also get a heat stroke, which is 
it's really not something you're going to want because it will make you lose health quite rapidly. But we're fine again, I'm afraid. So this area is more deserty, but it's apparently less hot. Uh, we, we stop being hot, that's great. We're gonna um, get this iron here too. Let's actually pick up these um, fiber plants too. That up because we're gonna need it to uh, make more biofuel, uh, which is not only good for the O2 converter, but also for a potential hopper vessel that I hope we will be able to get in the next or the third episode. It's the escape pod right next to the tree. Let's uh, get that copper too. surprise us and um, be very, very cold. But I think we do have a portable uh, heater dash cooler. So, um, if it does get really cold, there's food. If it does get really cold, um, we should be fine. There's more food. Great. Let's pick it up. I said earlier we didn't need fruit, and that's still true, we don't need it, um, but we can use it. You can either eat it, or you could um, make fruit juice of it, which restores health, so um, it never hurts picking up a plant, unless you're really in a hurry. So um, let's put all of this into this constructor, actually we can probably, yeah, let's just put it in here. Because it can hold a quite um, large amount of stuff. And um, this we want to put in here so we can make more fuel. Let's eat this steak. Uh, you can eat stuff by pressing left shift and right clicking it. Um, you can also move it to the toolbar and then just select it and left clicking. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we can put this in here as well. The energy bars I'm going to keep on myself just in case um, we run into no food during an away mission. We're gonna get that and put it in here because as I said we don't have oxygen. But now we do. This is kinda good. We have 10 bottles of oxygen. We're running quite low, 38. But um, we're gonna make more emergency O2. And we're gonna use these right about now. Uh, same goes for oxygen, not just food. You can just shift, um, left shift and uh, right click to use them. Or you could just um, drag these into here. And then when you're um, walking around, you can just be like, select, left click, and then you um, inject the oxygen into your suit. So we're almost full on oxygen, that's great. Um, when this stuff is done, I suppose we could actually start working on making the HP starter. Because um, the final goal in this game is to, at some point, um, be able to lift up and to uh, 
move to another planet, gather resources in, in space, and stuff like that. So mobility is the point of the game, and um, an HV will be um, a very, very, very good start uh, because it will allow us to transport stuff. It will allow us to to be very mobile, and we can add an oxygen tank to it, which means that we can. Um, stay in there forever without um, the need of refilling our suit with oxygen. Now, obviously we're going to drain oxygen. The stuff we put in the tank will keep us alive and the tank will empty. But still, it's um, it's very handy if you want to um, move uh, large distances. So, um, yeah, let's just put this in here. Get this make this into oxygen as well. Uh, we're doing quite well on oxygen. So I was thinking about making a second one of these, but I think that this one will definitely um, suffice. Oh, what's going on there? It looks nice. Look like a fireworks or something. Anyways, um, if you are new to this game, a hopper vessel can go over the water, even the very basic one. Although um, it's been said, or I think this was the case in, the, in past versions, that the basic hover engines did not provide thrust uh, when going over the water, but you can do that now. So um, it'll be very, very handy not having to swim over there or go around the lake if we need to get there. So um, this is also why we should start making um, an HV starter right away. So we're going to do this right now. And we're also gonna start making um, parts for it. We're gonna want a cockpit, fuel tank. We cannot make a generator because we can't make a motor. Why is this the case? This is the the tab for components. We're gonna go there and see why we can't make a motor. We have no nanotubes. Now nanotubes is this. We can't make this because we can't make carbon. This means we need stone dust. This is something I completely forgot. Um, we haven't picked a single rock yet. Oh, we don't even need to go very far. There's one right here. It's going to take a while to um, to drill. Actually, no. 209. That's nice. That's a, a very fair compromise. The small ones are usually only like 100. But they only provide like, um, I think, 10 crushed. So this isn't even a lot more. This is like 12. But it's fine. We don't need more. We have all the resources we need, so um, yeah, let's do this. Let's make a generator 2, a O2 tank. A core you don't need to make because a core will be included in the hover vessel starter. As you can see here, this is the material that the constructor makes in order to do what you um, told it to. So these are just intermediate products. Um, it needs this, um, this was an optical fiber and now it's making the core and um, that will be required to to assemble the final product all right guys um this will be it for the first episode it's um night is coming but i will be productive during the night and i will see you um in a little bit for me it'll be a little bit for you it might be a little later um but uh, if you like this video uh if you uh generally like uh, my style um, please like the video, subscribe, feel free to share it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.